From the NFL to star chef, our next guest continues to shine so bright. His latest appearance on the Guy Fieri Show Tournament of Champions has further widened his already large platform. And this morning, Chef Tobias cooking with Como, sharing one of his favorite recipes and opening up about mental health, his time on lots of TV shows and so much more. <laughs> Jeanette and Wisdom, are y'all hungry? I heard there'd be food. So That's I, pretty much I why we're decided, here. Yeah. Yeah. Long yeah. as food, you're good. But yeah. good to right. see you. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah. good to see you. Uh, Aaron, you left out per, a very important part oh, of this. Oh, what's that? You did. You, yeah. did. you left out. Uh, Friend of Wisdom Martin? No, no, no. Jackson State. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a Jackson right. State, you know, former Jackson State football player. HBCU yes. ever. You That's know. right. Okay, I all right. I thought something was missing. Yeah, okay, now you're done. Now you can go ahead. All right. We are making crab cakes today, so we're going to get into that because you got all the good ingredients to go. All the good ingredients, yes. But before you get started on that and you start mixing, I want to know about your time on the guys' new show because you had a, a monumental moment that really widened your platform to do with mental health. Yeah, I did. Um, so, guys, of course, Tournament of the Champ is the biggest culinary competition, almost like American Idols for singers. Big pressure. Yes. So, you know, being able to be in an arena and battling with people actually watching, like most of the co competition shows that I've had, we don't um, battle in front of mm. in front of people. So this was my first time actually battling in front of people on top of battling against people that I've looked up to for so long in the culinary world. Like, my first round, I actually went against Christian Petrelli, who actually was my judge on Guys Grocery Games twice. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, go, like, you know, so, like, you know, my first time being in a situation like that, to have to go against somebody that actually judged me twice, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, the, the pressure and the nerves of not ever being in that situation was there. But once I got out of that actual first round, things started to get normal. But, again, like, People don't get to see the behind, you know, of the pressure and stuff like that. So I had a moment, one, uh, the third round, well, every round I had a moment. It's just the third round. They it was, showed it. The third round, they showed it, and it just happened to be the biggest the biggest anxiety attack that I had mm -hmm. while I was on the show. So, you know, they stopped the show for a while. Guy took me outside. Guy being my main mentor, somebody I talk to often, you know, took me outside. It was just like it's something you do every day. Like, you know, just get out your own head, go outside cook good food, have fun, and, you know, everything else is going to speak for itself. And that's what ended up happening. You know? I'm so proud of you for pulling through and being brave enough to share that moment with an audience because thousands of people told you how yeah. much it meant to them that you shared that. I probably, like, so with football, with all the people I've cooked for, like, my Instagram, my Twitter has never responded to something like, like this. And I think people responded more to the actual anxiety attack and me being able to overcome it than me actually even winning that mm -hmm. round. Like, mm -hmm. I probably had 10,000 tweets on on Twitter just, like, about how people loved the way I battled through it and was still able to win and, you know, how I've helped so many people just, you know, look at me and see that somebody like me could actually battle through anxiety and actually get through the actual round. So it, it was an amazing thing. And if I can help, anybody in the world just feel like, you know, they can be comfortable and actually, you know, getting over anxiety, you know, I'm all for it. And, you know, I appreciate everybody that reached out and, you know, everybody that, that you know, sent out some concerns. Well, we're so proud of you. And we'll get to cooking now because it's low pressure environment in here. Yeah, and is. I know Jeanette and Wisdom, they're like, hey, hey speak for yourself. There's some pressure in here because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat anything. So you're good. <laughs> See, look at you. You're perfect. Uh, crab cakes. Crab cakes. Talk to me about this because you make some ridiculous crab cakes. So, you know, I'm not going get into the details, but here I already have the crab cakes mixed up for mm -hmm. you guys. But what I added to the crab cakes was Worcestershire sauce. I put that in mine. Some jerk seasoning, because we're doing jerk like crab cakes today. Mm. Some mayonnaise, some mustard, salt and pepper, a little bit of Old Bay, because we're from Maryland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And always Ritz crackers for my breading. Okay. I, you know, we, we don't like filler over here. Right. Okay. We like crab meat. We like Maryland crab meat. We okay. want to get all the flavor from the crab meat. So we make sure that we use minimum cra um, crackers, crunch them up, mix everything together in a bowl. Okay. Throw them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes so everything can, can form up. I'll and get mold to the them. magic of TV. Can I take this out? Oh, of course you can. Now, where'd you, Chef, where'd you get this recipe from? Is this something you created? Or? This, is, this is my creation. Okay. So I'm giving it to everybody so they can have it. <laughs> oh, right. Wow. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, right. Como. I'm getting in there. I see. You smell Aaron, that? if you drop it, <laughs> yeah. I mean, take I it into the break room for me to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Three okay. second rule. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, you hungry? Amazing. Let's get this plated up for Jeanette and Wisdom. So we already got something plated oh, up. You guys ready so for this? You said you put it in the oven for 30 minutes, was it? No, I put it in the oven for about 
18 minutes. Oh, 18 but it's in the refrigerator for 30, in the, 30 minutes. It's in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Mix. Because when you when you mix it up so it could stay binded together mm -hmm. like how it is, right. you have to put it in there so it can get solid. Because gotcha. if not, the, the mayonnaise is warm, the, right. the, the, the mustard is warm. When yeah. you put it in the, in the oven, it'll just flatten out. Okay. So have you, who can taste it like now? Who can taste it? Oh, oh. I'm gonna I don't get know if there's a competition in my life. No, no, no. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to get y'all plated up. So right okay. here, we got a um, chive aioli. So okay. it's just Old Bay mayonnaise, a little bit of lemon juice, okay. and, and fresh chives. Perfect. Chocolate. We got to wrap. But uh, yeah, so you going to put that? Dang, I'm scared. Don't hang in the kitchen, Jeanette. Don't go anywhere. Chef, I'm, I'm scared to get near Jeanette. I might okay. lose, lose a hand or something. Jeez. I mean. She is not playing. She ain't playing. Ooh. Oh, we got a tease. Okay, I'm over here looking at the food. All right, here we go. Uh, there you see the information on Chef Tobias.